All right, toy collectors. Today on the channel, we're going to take a look at a little treat from one of my favorite American uh, homegrown uh, toy or accessory weapon suppliers for G.I. Joe Classified, Gridiron Studios M Pack 44, Mechanized Proprietary Assault Carrier, MPAC 44. Now, this is the first one that came out, and I ordered this initially while I was on vacation. I just got it in the mail a couple of days ago. Uh, thank you, Gridiron Studios, for sending this out to me, uh, you know, pretty quickly, I, I would think, because you know again some of these things are he doesn't he doesn't have a factory you know it's homegrown uh, a lot of the things are you know put together by probably him and his family so um i appreciate you guys you know you know doing me right and sending it uh quickly so uh great work there um this reminds me of and i'm going to put a picture of it right over here uh the the if anybody remembers the three and three quarter pack rat uh, that GI Joe had. Now I had the pack rat because, uh, you know, when I was younger, because I was able to afford some of those smaller figures by, you know, by working at my grandfather's store or mowing yards or, you know, doing some errands or whatever, you know, whatever little money I could get together, I was able to buy some of the smaller stuff. Uh, but I, you know, I, you know, some of the bigger accessories and toys were way out of my league and those were reserved for birthdays and Christmases, right? But some of the smaller scale stuff, like the like the pack rat, uh, I could pick up. And so I remember getting the pack rat. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, man, that's the pack rat. I got to have it. Um, now, granted, Gridiron Studios is a little pricey. But nothing pleases me more than, again, to support an American company. I, I get it. Some, you know, some of it's a little pricey, but... Uh, I, I got to say, it brings me a little joy to see an American company putting out really cool stuff and me, me being able to buy it. Um, and, and I get it if some of it's just a little too pricey and out, outside of the price range. That's fine. It's a 100 percent legitimate, you know, legitimate answer. But, uh, you know, I, I could support them every once in a while. And this is the thing that that I really saw and I really wanted. And besides that, it comes in this number one. It comes in this cool crate of a box, right? The interesting thing about this box, it's, it fits right in here and it comes wrapped up. But anyways, it fits in here. You can actually, these walls are repurposed from, uh, you could use these for that little fortress thing that, they, that you can buy off of there. So you can actually connect these with some of the other walls. I've already got quite a few of these. I might even be able to build a legitimate base now since I've got so many out of these uh, and, and get that going. So anyways, it comes in a little crate. Let's take them out real quick pop him out see what he looks like I love that it comes in this crate oh i love it look at that so anyway let's take a look at the crate roll because this is actually uh, a great little accessory like i said um you can actually pull this apart and stack things stack more walls on top of it and then you know you put your figure up here put another wall set up here and it it's almost like a little base right and you can even they sell the um uh, Drop my weapon back here. Anyways, let's get back to the review. Um, and and you know you can put your your mount your weapons here on these hard points here, or actually stack another set of walls up here, and then put your GI Joe fig up here, and then put some more walls. Keep going around it, right? So it's a very cool accessory to have, uh, and I'm 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 super happy that he included it. And these just snap right in. Um, I don't have time to do that on this one, but. Yeah, they, you know, this kind of just snaps right in here and this one snaps in here. You got to line, make sure it lines up and all that stuff. But, you know, very cool, very, very, um, very, very versatile, versatile. All right. So what else does it come with other than that? Um, you know, that, that box, let's get to the, let's get to the main, uh, the main deal here. And that is this little guy right here, the impact 44. So here it is. Uh, they put it in a nice little bubble wrap for you. It comes very well uh, protected. So that's one thing that these guys do. They they really give you um, a, a really well protected. When they send it out, it's it's very uh, it's very very nicely packed, uh, and and when it ships out. So so here it is. The Impact 44 moves side to side. It's got some good good grip there. Very nice. Goes all the way around. There it is. Now, not only that, but look, this is something that I noticed right off the bat. 
cool little emblem there. Man, I've always liked their emblem. It's very nice. Here's something that the drone for scrap iron didn't have. Look at that. The tracks move, guys. I thought that was very cool. So that was very neat to me. The tracks actually work. Now, the, the pack rat had actually little wheels on it, so that was funny. So, and you also get these these weapon canisters, right? Or these, you know, kind of like 50 cal or ammo ammo uh, canisters or, or boxes there that you put your ammo. Uh, they're empty in the bottom, but, you know, they just kind of go right there. So, um, there he is. He's got a little camera there. You know, you can drive him around. Uh, you know, he's going to be operated by the, the driver or whatever. Uh, just looks really cool, man. Just a very, very cool OD green, my favorite. Uh, happens to be one of my favorite military colors. Very nice, that and desert tan. So that's what he looks like there. And he also comes with, let's take a look at this. I like, I really, really like that they packed how nostalgic is this guys this is this is super funny actually i might actually even put this in a poster somewhere or something but it comes with do you guys remember that they used to put these in the gi joe um uh you know uh, put together list or whatever and you know the the kind of like the blueprints for it and hey this is this is what it looks like this is what you can do with it an optional thing there uh, I've also got the other one, the Impact 44H, and we're going to do a review on that one too. So anyways, here you go. I love the way that looks. I might, I might take this and put it on the wall somewhere. I just, I'm digging this. So here's a little, um, you know, kind of blueprint for it there. So that's pretty cool. It kind of draws you, hey, this is everything that's on here and it draws your attention to it, right? What's number four? I was wondering what those red things are. Articulate, articulated heavy weapons mounts. Okay, so you can pop that off and put some stuff on there. Very good. Let me see, does it come off? Indeed it does. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Pops right off. What is that? A little bit of dirt there? A little bit of... That might be from the um, factory... That might be from the print. They forgot to paint that part. That's fine. It's not a big deal to me. There we go. Does it have it on this one? Let's see. Pops out here. Come on. Pop out. There we go. Oh, very nice. Let's put that back in. All right. Now, that's that. And here are the weapons mounts that it has. Oh, it also has these on here. So we've got some flamethrowers with a little flame effect here. Let's take them out so we can take a look at it. Let's look at these little flamethrowers. So here's a flamethrower that he can have. And the flame effect. You get a flame effect with it. Check it out. How does it, I would imagine it goes this way. Right? Or maybe I'm crazy. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. What did I do here? Does it go underneath it? And then... Maybe... Because usually, right, flame would be the other way, right? It would have to be this way. That's what I would... Maybe this isn't flame. Maybe this is for the actual weapons mount over here. Maybe I'm crazy. So anyways, you've got this effect here. And I think this isn't... This is actually um, weapons fire. It's not a, a you know... It's not a, a flamethrower fire. So anyways... Uh, there's that. Let's take a look at the, these are the hard points to mount it with. Let's see. There's the other one. Let's see this. Oh, uh, you look here are the, um, so these, these little round pieces here, I think some of these, 
either belong to that to mount it on here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Or some of these can actually belong to the wall. You can use that to put the wall on there. And I'm not quite sure what this is. We'll check that out in a minute. Interesting. All right. There's that. I don't want you. I don't want the carpet monster to eat you. Get back here. There's that. And here is the other weapon. All right. And this is, oh, this one's easy to mount. This one's going to go right here. Look at that. That was simple. I'm probably going to get some kind of, um, does that come off? I might have to get, because it's so loose, I might have to get some sticky, sticky stuff and put it in there just so that it's not so loose. I would imagine this pops off or gets tighter, but definitely, definitely need to tighten that up a little bit, I think. So let's plug that right back in there. Uh, let's see what else do you get with this bad boy. This is the, oh, here's the controller unit. So this would mount to a action figure's arm there. Uh, his, you know, right above his wrist. And he, that's the controller for this guy, which is very cool. Very nice. And then, hey, here's the uh, ammo for the, for the machine gun here. Let's see. All right. There. But imagine it just... I have to play around with it. Don't want to break. There it goes. Just like that. There we go. All right. Let me finish putting this together real quick, guys. And um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it once more once it's all put together. Well, all right, there he is all put together. It didn't take me but a few minutes actually to put this bad boy together. These bottom pieces, yes, these pieces here are for the wall. If you wanna use it, uh, securing it together with another facet of the wall. So that's really nice of them to include that. Um, but yeah, it didn't take me more than a few minutes to, all you gotta do is snap, is uh, slide these bars in and then these uh, two flamethrowers go in underneath. And then this uh, little machine gun that's built in slides into uh, this little port right there, which is which is very cool, uh, very easy to do. Uh, and who else to who better else to guide uh, the Impact 44 than a grunt? So grunt's going to get out there and start using it. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I really like it. Um, so yeah, I mean he there he, he's got the little control there uh, for it snapped right onto his to his wrist there for him to control it um so that was very easy stand up grunt uh and yeah there it is and yes the uh, fire effect is for the weapon so there you go uh i'm gonna assume that he can this little guy can you know control this arm as well just as well as uh you know he can control this and and that little machine gun as well so i dig it that's very cool. I've always, when I was a kid, I always used to have that little MRAT go in first, right? Who doesn't want the robot to go in first to take the hits uh, before having your, your guy go in there and take hits? Um, yeah, I think that would be very smart to send the Impact 44 in before um, anybody else. And it could be your mule, right? You can take it with you. Uh, and that way you don't have to carry all your gear. You could just stow it up here. Hey, you carry it for me. Or maybe you can, I don't know, take Grunt's backpack and stow it back here, right? However you want to do it, it's going to carry it for you. So, all right, guys, um, what do you think about it? You know, it does have, a, like I said, it does have a little bit of a steep price, but, uh, you know, I don't think Hasbro is going to get this deep into the line. 
and, and this is always a cool little art alternative to have on the side. Um, and it just makes for, you know, a little bit more creativity, a little bit more flexibility, uh, you know, to, to have the Joes have this piece of equipment. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you just want a little bit something different, right? So I dig it. Everything about this is very cool. Uh, it, it is the value there. Uh, now I bought it when it was on sale initially when it went live uh, for 99 bucks. It is a little pricey, but uh, I thought it was well worth it. The value was there for me. Hopefully it's there for you. Um, I, you know, and I, I want to be upfront. I paid out of my good money for this. N nobody offered me a discount for it. I didn't get any feedback or anything from uh, Gridiron Studios. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, nobody pays me for this stuff. I don't get, I'm not supported by anybody or I'm not sponsored by anyone. I, I just tell, I'm going to tell you what I think of it. And what I suggest for you guys to do is to use your own, you know, uh, thought process. I mean, I buy this stuff and I just share my opinion with you guys and kind of take it out and kind of show it up here so you guys can have an idea of what you're getting if you do get it. Um, but I would always say, hey, you be the judge of it. If you like it, hey, go get it. If you don't, if you don't think the value's there, by all means, skip on it. But for me, the value was here. Uh, and I'm also going to review the uh, Impact 44H maybe in a couple, another couple days and we'll go from there. So Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, last little quick thing. I decided to end on this spot for two reasons. Number one, there is nothing a grunt like myself likes better than to have something else do the work for me. <laughs> there was no there was no lack of creativity in finding a way for something else to carry all this extra gear for me. Uh, that, there's nothing better than that. So that's why you see Grunt back there just telling him what be load him up and then we'll go from there. Uh, and the other part is, uh, do I recommend him? I don't know if I, I don't remember saying in the video, but yes, I, I do recommend this uh, little guy uh, just for the sheer fun factor and cool factor. Uh, and, you know, if you can afford it, yeah, I, I recommend it. I'm going to say it's a fun little cool thing to have it on a scale of one to five. Take look, Taking a look at everything that it comes with. I'm going to say it's a solid 4.2. It's not going to change your life. Uh, it's not necessary, but doggone, it's cool, right? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to do some cool little action shots with it. Maybe at the beginning of the video, you maybe already saw them. But anyways, appreciate everybody's support. Uh, we're very, very close to the 500. As, as I'm filming this, I think we're at 498 or 4, 499, something we may have already gotten there. So we did it. We finally got over the 500 hump. Uh, I'm probably going to do, uh, you know, a separate giveaway for that in the next video if we've already done it. And that way we'll have two contests concurrently running. One to celebrate the 500 and, you know, that one that we have going on in the X-Men animated series one uh, previously. So X-Men animated Wolverine video. That one's still going. That one's still going. So uh, you can still win that one if you solve the puzzle in that video. So again, I can't thank you guys enough. I appreciate you guys subscribing. You know, it doesn't cost you a thing. And it, you know, like I said, it helps out the channel as our friend Kent Poole always says, I got that from him. Doesn't, doesn't hurt you. Doesn't cost you a thing. It helps spread the word about the channel. And I love engaging with you guys. Like I said, I don't do, I'm an amateur. I don't do this uh, for any pay or for any sponsors. I don't get any money from anybody. Uh, I got what I need and I have fun. And that's what this is about engaging and having fun. So thanks. Thanks again. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep pulling them out.